Okay, class. May I request everyone to please stand for our prayer? Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, class. How's your day? Mm -hmm. Have you eaten your breakfast? Very good. Please pick up the pieces of paper under your chairs and please check your alignment. You may now take your seats. Before we start our lesson, let me check your attendance first. Say present if you're here. Good job, class. No one is absent today. Now, let's do a recap. What was our lesson yesterday? Anyone? Yes, Nika. Awesome. Then who would like to recite what was our topic all about? Anybody else? Okay, yes, Rexy. Very good, Rexy. And what does PEM does stand for? Yes, Sia. That is correct. Excellent answer, Sia. I'm glad that you still remember our previous topic. So I guess you will be ready to our topic today. Am I right, class? That's great. Now, let's proceed to our main topic. Who wants to define what is an algebraic expression is? Raise your hand. Do not answer in chorus. Okay, yes, Aryan. Very good, Aryan. Now, I need six students to give me an example of an algebraic expression. And write it on the board. Okay, Alex, Zian, Jake, John, Kim, and Bea, please stand up and write it on the board. Very good class. All of this is an example of an algebraic expression. Now class, I want you to find the answer to the following multi-operation mathematical expression by connecting the expression in column A to the corresponding answer in column B. The first five students who finish the task will receive a gift from me. So, good luck everyone. Very good class. Ngayon, discuss ko kung bakit ito nga ba ang sagot. Para naman maintindihan ng iba niyong kaklase ang inyong sinagutan. So, number one. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared where A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. So, 2 is squared. Substitute Substitute A into 2 and B into 3. So, 2 squared plus 2 times 2 times 3 plus 3 squared. So, start on exponent. 2 squared is equal to 4. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Plus, 3 squared is equal to 9. So, 4 plus 12 plus 9 is equal to 25. Number 2. 6a plus 3, where a is equal to 4. So, substitute a into 4. 6 times 4 plus 3. So, multiply 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. So, 24 plus 18 is equal to 42. 
नंबर थ्री सेवन एक्स स्क्वेड माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस एट वेर एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू सब्सटीट्यूट एक्स इनटू टू सेवन टाइम्स टू स्क्वेड माइनस फाइव टाइम्स टू प्लस एट सो स्टार्ट ऑन द एक्सपोनेंट टू स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू फोर सो सेवन टाइम्स फोर माइनस फाइव Times two is equal to ten plus eight. So seven times four is twenty-eight minus ten plus eight. Twenty-eight minus ten is equal to eighteen plus eight. So eighteen plus eight is equal to twenty-six. Very good. Okay, number four. Five x plus y, where x is equal to three and y is equal to four. Substitute. X into three and Y into four, so five times three plus four, very easy class. So five times three is equal to, yes, okay, very good. Fifteen plus four, so fifteen plus four is equal to, yes, it's nineteen. So class, what do you think our topic today? Do you have any ideas? Okay. It's correct, JV. It's evaluating algebraic expression. How about others? Yes, Hershey. Very good, Hershey. That's also correct. Now we will discuss how to evaluate an algebraic expression. Do you want to know how? I can hear you, class. Okay, let's start our discussion. An algebraic expression or a variable expression is a combination of terms by the operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. A variable is a sign that symbolizes one or more numbers, generally a letter. Numbers, variables, and methods make up an algebraic expression. Now, I will discuss to you how to evaluate algebraic expression. Do you have any idea how to evaluate algebraic expression? Anybody else? Yes, Gary. Very well said, Gary. So now, I have two examples here. Example number one, if we are given 7x minus 15 and x is equal to 12, we can evaluate 7x minus 15 substitute x into 12. Now 7 times 12 minus 15. Multiply first the 7 and 12. Now 7 times 12 is equal to 84 minus 15 is equal to 69. Example number 2. 6x plus 2y minus 4 where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. 6x plus 2y minus 4 substitute x and y into 3 and 2. Now 6 times 2 plus 2 times 3 minus 4. 12 plus 2 times 3 minus 4. 12 plus 6 minus 4. So 18 minus 4. So 18 minus 4 is equal to 14. Now evaluate the expression. Who wants to try it on the board? So Kelsey, Nell, and Cassie answer it on the board. Okay. Number one is 2x plus 4, where x is equal to 5. Number two, a squared plus 3ab plus b squared, where a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4. Number three, 3x squared y over x plus y, when x plus x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Good job, the three of you. But number three is wrong. 
Good try, Cassie. But I am going to explain and discuss the correct answer. Okay? So, 3x squared y over x plus y. Where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So, you are going to substitute the given values for each variable, which is 3 times 2 squared times 3 over 2 plus 3. So now, evaluate the numerator first, starting on the exponent. So 2 squared is equal to 4. Finish the multiplication in the numerator, which is 3 times 4 times 3. So, what is the answer? Yes, it's 36. Just add the denominator. 2 plus 3 is equal to? Yes, it's 5. After that, you can now evaluate the denominator, which is 36 over 5. Just divide it. So, the answer is 7.2. Did you get it, class? Please be honest. Okay. Are there any questions? Yes, AJ. No. If the denominator is zero, then the answer will also be undefined. Another questions? Yes, MC. That's a great question, MC. Learning algebra contributes in the growth of critical thinking skills, problem solving, logic, patterns, and reasoning are all included. You need to know algebra for many industries, particularly those in science and math. Require knowledge for algebra. Algebra can open up numerous new opportunities to accomplish in the 21st century. Furthermore, when students progress from concrete arithmetic symbolic language of algebra, they gain the abstract reasoning skills required for success in math and science. That's why class, you need to study hard, not only for math subject, but all for your subjects too. Is it clear now, class? I can't hear you. Okay. Now, who wants to summarize? To today's discussion another hands place yes Maxi very good Maxi ngayon class maglabas kayo ng inyong one half crosswise para sa inyong assessment answer it for five minutes Okay, class. For your assignment, please answer your workbook on page 116 and write your solution in your pink activity notebook. Take note, class. Take note. No solution is automatically wrong. Okay? Before I dismiss you, class, can I request everyone to sing the song, I Love Mutt? Okay. Mathematics, mathematics, I love math, I love math. It is so exciting, very interesting. I love math, I love math. Math. I love
that's all for today. Salamat sa pagkikinig. Stay productive. God bless everyone. Kung may mga hindi man kayo naintindihan, tawagan nyo lang ako or i-chat nyo lamang ako sa aking Facebook account, Tin Abalian. Goodbye, class!